Pasadena police, along with other law enforcement, have arrested several people accused of stealing ATMs from county buildings. Authorities say the suspects have ties to a gang called Tango Blast. Channel 2 Sophia Bosley is live from one of those buildings that was burglarized in downtown Houston. Sophia. So just recently, Keith Cruz wrapped up boarding up this window because this is where the suspected thieves actually went through it to steal an ATM here at the Harris County Administration Building. And when we spoke with Pasadena police, they said this is a first of its kind. Pasadena police say for the last six weeks, their officers, along with other local law enforcement, have investigated several burglaries into Harris County buildings. What's unique about these situations, the suspects are accused of stealing other people's trucks and ramming them into buildings to steal ATMs. In Pasadena, the alleged crimes happened twice last month at the John Phelps Harris County Annex on 101 South Ritchie. Surveillance video shows the suspects reverse into the glass windows in an attempt to get the ATM. But this is just one of five incidents. Police were able to crack the case early Tuesday morning when the suspect smashed into the Harris County Administration Building downtown. This is a picture of the ATM that fell off the stolen Ford F-250 after a short police chase. Authorities arrested Billy Moron and Jessica Peña Moron. The couple had at least one child under the age of three in their vehicle. And police also arrested Ruben Casaneda and Jessica Cabareo, who also had young children in the car. Um, and these investigators, I mean, they dropped everything that they're doing to focus on this case because it was that important uh, that people, you know, were targeting county facilities. Pasadena police say this was bold. They've never seen people go into county facilities to do smash and grabs. Now, there were two other people who were arrested from Precinct 1, and I just learned there was actually a third person. That's a total of seven. And when it comes to uh, other people, they say that they possibly have others who were invest or part of this as well. And then they've all been charged with organized crime. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.